New Testament, there is a word from the Lord from the 19th chapter of the book of Matthew, Amen. the tax collector. Amen. Amen. The 19th chapter of Matthew. And we want to look at the <clears throat> I want to look at <clears throat> verse 27 mm -hmm. through 30. Amen. 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 Y'all have to say amen. 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 Then it reads from the 27th verse says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye who have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And every one that has forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, our mother, our wife, or children, or lands, of my name's sake, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Amen. 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 You may be seated. You want to. Talk from this subject here the Lord has given to me to give to you. Amen. Is that get to know Jesus for yourself. Get to know Jesus for yourself. All week, it was just last week, I want to pray. Brother Combs for. The word that he brought on last Sunday at New Independent has been with me all week long. When he asked the question, are you in? Are you out? I think some of y'all might remember that. Are you in? Or are you out? So that's a question that every uh, child of God can ask whether you are. Uh, you know whether you in or you out. Yes. Right. And um, but the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, if any man be in Christ Jesus, the new creation, That's right. old things have passed away. Right. So you know it's, it's so good, you know that you're in Christ. Mm -hmm. And Christ is in you. That's right. So you become a new creation. Old things have passed away. Mm -hmm. And so we say that you only you know that uh, uh, the answer to that question. And that didn't, uh, that what it leads to this something that the Lord has given to me about get to know Jesus for yourself. That's right. All of us, many of us, I I dare not say all of us, but many of us have heard about the name Jesus. Yeah, all right. We've heard that name. I, I, I mean, even from your uh, child upward, I, I believe that we all have heard the name Jesus. But to hear and to know is two different things. Right. Uh, your parents might have taught you um, about the things of God, but you really didn't know who he was. Right. But now that you've had some experience, I, I, I believe that uh, I'm on somebody's street this morning that uh, somebody know him for themselves. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a song that comes to my mind that uh, over the years that tells me say this not my brother, not my sister, but it's me. Yeah. 
Oh Lord, who stands in the need of prayer. And we all need prayer. We have many things that we need uh, in this walk with God. I heard somebody say, uh, you know, every child of God, I, I don't know which, what song that, that's in your heart, but there's a song that ought to be in every yeah. believer's yeah. heart. Mm -hmm. And I know that one song that stands out to, for me is that walk with me. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a young to yeah. walk with you, but walk with me, Lord. Yes. While I'm on this yeah. Yeah, yeah. tedious journey. Yeah, and talk with me. Yeah. And then, you know, it, it's good to have somebody that's right, that's right. To talk with you, you know, on this journey. Because yeah. this journey, you know, sometimes it gets mighty hard sometimes. Yeah, right. and, and, but, but, you know, you've got somebody to talk to. Yeah. Talk with you, you know, it makes things a little bit better. Yes, yes. yes. But we want to, you know, look at the, the, um, the text this morning, we don't want to hold you too long. I just looked at the clock. I thought my eye was folded in. And I thought it was 3 o'clock. <laughs> I, mean, I said, no, it's just about a little bit after 12. I mean, y'all give me 10 or 15 minutes, I'll be through. I'll be out of the way. And I'll give you the 3 o'clock. Amen. Uh, so, in this passage of scripture that we just read, is that when we talked about um Peter and and he decided what had taken place if you go just a little bit before um we reach down here where Peter is in the 27th verse if you go back to verse 16 mm -hmm. there is a the Bible talks about this rich young ruler yeah, yeah. am I right about it? Yes, sir. So the rich young ruler had come to Jesus. Yeah. And that, that, that what your word says? Yeah. It said they come to Jesus and, 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 and you know, I want to let you know, he said, good master. Yeah. And uh, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right. You know, we are all here asking that question. Yes, what can we do to have eternal life? You know, you know, my Bible tells me what's going to turn life somewhere. Uh -huh. And so we want to make sure that we are in or out. Uh -huh. Am I right about it? Yeah. So in other words, this morning, like I said, if you're not in, this is a good time to get on the Lord's side. Uh -huh. But this morning, this morning, this rich young ruler had come to Jesus. You know, it's good, it's all right. Uh, you know, it's all right, I don't know about you, but it's, a, it's good to ask Jesus questions. That's right. You can ask him questions. Like I said, if you want to, I don't know when you was in school, I don't know, maybe some of y'all were age students, but they, everybody ain't there. Amen. So, Amen. I didn't mind asking questions yes, sir. if it's something that I didn't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This ain't, I heard somebody say, ain't no dumb questions. But I see here that this board is good to this ruler, he said to Jesus, said, good master, yeah. what good thing must I do? I'm quite sure some of us have asked the same thing. Yes. What I, that I want to have eternal life. Yes, sir. You know, everybody, you know, uh, want to go to heaven, <laughs> but don't nobody want to die. <laughs> but nobody want to spend eternity <laughs> in hell. But that's why we, we have you know, we have Jesus as our leader. Yes, sir. And so, and so we see here that this good, this young ruler came to Jesus and Jesus said unto you, look what he says. We just going to walk through this for a little while. Look what he says. He said, Jesus asked him, why callest thou me good? Yeah. There is none good. That one, but that is God. But if I will enter into life, keep the commandments. And he said, look at the rich young ruler, look what he said, which one? And he said, Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. Yeah. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah. Thou shalt not steal. Mm -hmm. 
Thou should not bear a false witness. Right. Honor thy father and thy mother. Mm. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes, uh -huh. sir. Look what the young man said. All these things have I kept from my youth up since I was a young lad. Yeah. I kept these things. But lad, what lack I get? He said, what more do I need? But look what Jesus said. If you will be perfect, right. go and sell what thou hast right. and give to the poor. Yeah. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Hope you can see the compassion yeah. of Jesus setting him saying, just sell what you have and come and follow me. Uh -huh. And that's a decision time, ain't it? Yes, sir. He said, come and follow me. Your treasure will be in heaven. Yeah. Let me ask you a question this morning, Zion. You got all the money in the world. What shall it profit you? Yes, right. Am I right about it? Right. He, he, him and his money can go, go into hell. What can you do with it? That's right. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You can take your money to hell. We don't need no money in heaven. That's right. But you want to what? Do what does, says the Lord. Yes, so the Lord said to him, he had compassion yes, upon him. And we all need encouragement. Uh -huh. We're here to encourage one another. Yes, sir. I'm going to write on that. Because can't nobody live in this world and everybody needs a little pat on the back every right. now and then. Right. But this man here, he had an opportunity to come on Jesus' side, but look what he did. Look at verse 22. He says here, but when the young man, look what he did. Heard that saying, what did he do? He went away. Sorrowful. For he had great possession. In other words, he said, I'm not giving up. What I have, oh, I'm going to hide that, but I don't know if he stole it. I'm going to hide that, but he said he was rich. But the thing about it, he had the money to help somebody. That's right. But he had an opportunity to help somebody. But he turned away. Right. And so, so he turned away. In other words, what I'm trying to say is that he rejected Jesus. It was for him to make up his mind who he was going to follow. Right. But the Bible says he had great possession. But look what Jesus says in verse 23. Then said Jesus unto his disciple, I say unto you that it Unto you that a rich man shall with difficulty enter into the <coughs> kingdom of heaven. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Let me say this: it's not wrong with being rich, because right. Abraham was rich. Right. Yeah. David was rich, but yet still, what they followed after the Lord. But don't let your money be your God. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. You should not have having money. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong now. But it's all right to have money, but you can do, or we can help somebody. That's right. You know why you have that money. Yes, sir. And so then that's why you have treasures in heaven. All right. But look what Jesus, then not his disciples, look down in verse 25. His disciples right around, and they were, can y'all see them in the company? Right around when the rich man came up here. Then when his disciples, I don't know which disciples were there, but we know the people there was there. And we know most occasions when when Jesus would consent with his with his disciples, Peter, James, and John were always were right there with Jesus. Mm -hmm. But look at verse 25. When the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed and saying, Who can be saved? Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we all want to ask that question. Who can be saved? Mm -hmm. But look what Jesus said at the hell. With men, this is impossible. Right. But with God, all things are possible. Yeah, right. So, in other words, what he's saying to uh, his 
decide to put your trust in me. You know, not man, because it's impossible that man cannot save you. I, I, I don't know about you, but uh, but I'm so glad that I've been delivered from the ways of the world. We'll never be perfect on this side, but we can be delivered. But so we say here that Jesus told his disciples uh, that with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. So this being mission Sunday, you know, Jesus himself was on a mission. We are all on a mission. We are, we are on a mission. Jesus' mission was to come from heaven to earth yeah. to seek and save all of us who've been lost. Yeah. That's his mission. Yeah. He completed his mission, yeah. but we're still here. Amen. So we are to what, complete our mission. mission. Just like Jesus, Jesus was our example. Yeah. He went through the same thing that many of us are going through day after day, but yet without sin. So he's our example. So we look to him for our whatever we need. We look to Jesus. But we know that he's able. For the Bible tells me he never failed. He never failed in anything. And so we want to, we, he's our example for what we stand in need of. And so look at Peter. Verse down at verse 27, he says that. that you know, Peter, when Jesus called him, he was a fisherman. Mm -hmm. In other words, this is what Peter was saying. I, I don't know that's a fishing business. That's right. Now, look what he says here in verse 27. Both, behold, we have the same all. I can't sell no more fish <laughs> and follow thee, but what shall we have? In other words, he asked him, what's in it for me? That's right. You have to think about why you, when you come to church, what's in it for you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if, you don't, if you don't not come in to seeking after what does say the Lord, yeah. you're coming for the wrong reason. Yeah. Am I right about yeah. I used to hear it way back when I was young. There was a sign out on this church where I grew up in that said, enter to worship. All right. Depart to serve. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. himself didn't come to be served. Yeah. But he came to serve. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. That's why we ought to serve yes, Lord. one another. Yeah. While we have the chance. Yeah. Because like I said, we don't know how long we're going to be here. All right. That's why we ought to learn, learn to love the Lord. Yes, yeah. sir. With all of our heart. With all our mind, our soul, and our strength. Yes, sir. And likewise, the second command is that we ought to learn how to love our neighbor yeah. as ourselves. Right. We need Jesus to teach us how to love the unlovable. Yes, but we can't love one another without the Spirit of God in us. That's why we need Him. On this journey. I don't know about you, but we can't go without the help of Jesus. But with Jesus, all these things are possible. Am I right about it? So that's why I'm saying that when Peter said that we forsake it all, we follow you. What's in it for me? But look what Jesus says in verse 28. And Jesus said unto, it, unto them, I say unto you that you who have followed me in the regeneration, that means a new birth. Yes, For I heard uh, uh, Jesus tell Nicodemus <laughs> that you must be born again. You yes, cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Yes, that flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Yes, but we know that if we've been born again, Born from above. Wow. And we know that we take God in His Word. Yes, sir. One of these days we realize just like Jesus went back to heaven. We can go see Him one day. Yes, so we want to see 
here or that as we come to a close, and every one of us, that you need to get yourself. All right. You need to get yourself to know Jesus for yourself. Yeah. Look what it says in verse 29. Uh -huh. And everyone that has forsaken houses, yeah. everyone who's forsaken your brothers, uh -huh. everyone who's forsaken your sisters, Everyone who forsaken your father, everyone who forsaken your mother or your wife or your children, or, or even your land for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold uh -huh. right now and even in the life everlasting. Yes, sir. That's why we, are, we all know about you, but I'm happy right now right. with Jesus. Yes, sir. Because he's done more. Oh, no. 